Let's dig once again in the depths of Illustrator to find out some hidden features, shall we? Penning while writing Have you ever been in the situation where you were writing some text in Illustrator and instinctively held the spacebar to access the hand tool and pen around the artboard, but ended up adding a bunch of spaces to your text? Well, fear no more. Since you're writing and cannot use the spacebar as a shortcut to the hand tool, the shortcut key changes from the spacebar to the ALT key. So all you have to do is hold ALT, click and drag and you'll be able to move freely through the artboard while still using the type tool. Bonus tip! If you hold CTRL or COMMAND, you can also access the selection tool and click and drag to move the text you're currently writing. Removing anchor points while maintaining the path Removing anchor points from a path and trying to make it more clean and smooth can be an annoying task. There's a lot of fiddling with handles to make the path smooth, and at some point I would even make a copy of the object to try to maintain the new path as close as possible to the original. That is, until I found out that while using the delete anchor point tool, I could simply hold the shift key while deleting an anchor point and the path would be automatically recalculated by Illustrator. What Illustrator is actually doing is moving the handles of the two neighboring anchor points to maintain the path as close as possible to the original. Of course, it's not always possible to be 100% precise, but this is still, to this day, my favorite way to clean paths and reduce the number of anchor points to the very minimum. Using shortcuts to align If you're anything like me, you're used to align objects in your artboard by using the control bar in the top part of Illustrator or either the Properties panel or the Align panel. Since, unlike many Illustrator tools, the Align functions do not have a default shortcut and in fact, it's not possible to assign shortcuts to options you find inside the panels. You are only allowed to add shortcuts to menu commands and tools. Well, lucky us, the Align functions can also be accessed through the Object menu thus giving us the possibility to add shortcuts to them. Simply go to the Edit menu and all the way to the bottom you'll find the keyboard shortcuts. Alternatively, you can use the Ctrl-Alt-Shift-K shortcut. Once the shortcuts menu is open, select Menu Commands in the drop-down menu and navigate to Object and then Align. Then just double-click on the shortcut column to add the desired shortcut. The most logical option would be using the numerical keyboard, but I found that they would conflict with many other shortcuts that I use, so instead I chose to use the function keys. Feel free to choose whatever shortcuts you're more comfortable with. After all is done, just hit OK and save your shortcuts preset. Now you're good to go. Once you get used to these shortcuts, you will save a lot of time, trust me. Forcing strokes and effects to scale with the object. Everyone, at some point, got frustrated while scaling an object and realizing that their artwork had become a complete mess because strokes and effects, by default, do not scale with the object in Illustrator. Well, my friend, you are just a menu click away from solving this problem. Just go to the Edit menu and navigate all the way to the bottom to the Preferences and then choose General. Once the Preferences menu is open, all you have to do is check this box that says Scale, Strokes and Effects, and all your problems are over. Now, whenever you scale an object with strokes and effects, everything will scale together. Bonus tip 1. There is a similar option to also scale rounded corners, just above the Strokes and Effects checkbox, in the same Preferences menu. Bonus tip 2. You can also open the Preferences menu by using the shortcut Ctrl or Command K. Bonus tip 3. Alternatively, if you have the Properties panel open, deselect any objects in the artboard and select the Selection tool. The Properties panel will then show you the option to toggle the scaling of both strokes and effects and corners, eliminating the need to open the menu. Bonus tip 4 Yo dude, that's enough bonus tips! Ok, I'm sorry, I made a video about the properties panel, check it out by clicking in the card in the top right corner. Jesus! Draw inside And the last feature for this video is the draw inside option in Illustrator, which is hidden all the way down in the toolbar in this tiny little icon. The draw inside mode allows you to basically use a specific object in your artboard 
as a sort of clipping mask. So you just select the desired object and click on the draw inside icon. After that, everything you create in the artboard will be clipped to that object. The biggest difference from a regular clipping mask is that the object is functioning both as the clipping mask boundaries and as the background color, while in a regular clipping mask you would need one object to function as the mask itself and another one to function as the background. And that's it for this video, I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching and have a great day, bye!